Okay, let's talk about frames for a while. It was covered in a in a previous video video from more the angle of the resynthesis, but we're going to go from scratch. It's a somewhat unique feature uh, for Synclavia. Uh, you don't find too many synths with something like this, so that means we can create some some sort of unique sounds, I guess. So we'll start with I want to start with a triangle wave. So we've just got the sine wave there. We'll change that to a triangle, and the type slightly change the shape of the triangle. So there we've got this exact triangle, but a little thing that I noticed is if you just change the first, just bring that down slightly, that first harmonic, then the other harmonics shine through a bit more and it creates something yeah, triangular, triangular like. Um, oops, define. So you can, you can obviously play with that to your you can mix that to taste and you can change all these so much. But let's just start with that wave as the first frame. So now if I go to the frames um, one, I'm going to clone that frame and we'll um, clone it. And then I can go back and forth with this one. You'll see the one highlighted is the one in red and the time starts here and then it get, goes up there. So they're both going to be the same. It's just going to sound the same. But on this second frame, uh, I'm going to get, go change some of my harmonics now. So um, I will edit. Well, no, I, no I, let's just keep it simple rather than editing it by hand and I'll just show you what's happening. So let's change this to a square. So let's do a ramp and create another frame from that one. And we'll make that one, again, well, I'll use the quick one for now, an impulse. It's adding more harmonics as it goes along. So we can see this in the frame view. <laughs> that was obviously taking taking over with the, the impulse, but we can tame things down with filters later on if we wanted to. So you're hearing, you're hearing that effect. I'm going to loop them, so press the, that one to go back. Um, and exchange splice. So here we got our fade times. They just default to a second. We'll change those in a minute. And then if I go left twice, got my loop options. So I'm going to just loop one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, rather than one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. And then what we'll do is change the fade time. We're going to have to do this on each one to suit so you'll see how that it actually changes graphically so you can see I'll set that to a 40 on that one and I'll change it on this one too and then finally on this one for the loop around it's gonna it's gonna come into effect so now with with that one down at 40 you've got they're almost blending into each other so what we can do with this if I just shortcut to my modulators if I check set this to frame speed which is down here way down here and I'll show you the range what's what's this is going to do is 40 milliseconds as a fade time is our maximum well, it's going to change the fade time well it's actually going to change the rate of the frame so it's not going to it's going to it's going to slow down the frame from the normal frame rate which we know we've set to 40 milliseconds as a fade time that's where it gets quite complicated so if i change my mod wheel you can kind of capture it in the act of one of those particular sounds that are different or you can or you can kind of throw it from one of those and it's kind of almost sounds like an LFO so if I play a chord There's other things you can change with the frames. 
and as I say we could filter that too and we can make the the filter uh, be slightly different over time as well if you wanted to I could I could add some FM to each frame individually uh, I can change the tuning of each frame individually so um, that might be fun to play with particularly if you're using a very a more similar additive waveform a thing you could do with this is to change the, the, the FM amount and the tuning and then you could do the same thing with the frame speed you could, and you could capture it with a mod wheel or, or whatever if you want to so just something that maybe not everybody's thought of using the power of the modulators and the power of the frames to potentially have a different effect that might, you know somebody might find useful